Hello, I'm Matt from Ludovox.fr and I'm going to give you an overview of Spacegate Odyssey. So Spacegate Odyssey is a management and a tire placement game for two to four players ages um, 12 and up and it plays for around 90 minutes. So this is a game about colonizing exoplanets and mainly Hawking and we want to be the governor of Hawking and to do that we want to uh, gain influence points to uh, get uh, on this track and basically climb up the ranks and the person on the higher uh, on the highest rank at the end of the game is going to win the game so basically we are going to colonize these exoplanets to gain influence and to colonize these exoplanets we are going to expand our space station and to do that we're going to place new modules and it is going to enable us to place uh, settlers onto the exoplanets Every player is going to have their own uh, stock of uh, settlers. So these settlers are the small tokens. Uh, we also uh, have engineers and robots. So they are basically the workforce. And we also have the exosuits that go right uh, around an engineer. And it's making an engineer in chief, a chief engineer. And this is really important because they are the best engineers that you can find in the game. We also have a space station, which starts with a uh, starting tile plus two tiles that we are going to draw from this uh, display. So basically, we are going to play turn after turn until all the five planets have been closed and scored. And then that's the end of the game. We're going to count up the victory points or the influence points and the person who's highest here wins, basically. So a player turn is based out of five actions. First, we're going to choose a set, uh, choose an engineer, move it to another uh, tile here, and place it on the action stand. When it's on the action stand, I'm going to activate that room and get that action. But every player is going to get that action as well, depending on the workforce that they have on that room. So uh, we are going to count up the action points with the robots, one action points. Basically, they are engineers that do not move. Engineers, one action point, and uh, chief engineers, two action points. So in this case, I have three, uh, yellow has two, and black has two. So I'm going to perform my actions, then we go clockwise, uh, resolving the different actions, and everyone gets their turn. So I'm going to go back to the abilities of, that, of the rooms later, don't worry. But once we have spent our action points, we are going to just basically see if we can send um, settlers to the exoplanets and then pass the turn by putting off that engineer office stand and giving the next player a go. So about the ability of that first room, this is the new modules room. And if I activate it, remember I had three action points. So basically what every action point here allows me to do is draw a tile and place it onto my station. So uh, the new modules have uh, entries and uh, they have an A side and B side and we are going to place them on the off uh, side and then we are going to activate them later and flip them over. So I can do that three times because I have three action points and this is really important because I can also, if I do not want to uh, put that tile onto my board, I can put it underneath the stack, which is a nice possibility. So I'm going to take this and place it on the right side and then uh, take also this one. So note that there are rules for building. For example, I cannot do this because I should connect, for example, like this. This is really important because you don't want that many exits on your, on your space station because every exit is going to make you lose one point at the end of the game. So uh, once you have done your actions, that's it for this room. You know almost everything about it. So now the next rooms, the three top rooms, I'm going to explain them all together because they are basically the same for different colors. So if you activate that room, for example, doing this, you're going to move settlers from your modules uh, to an adjacent module of that color. So that's why they were the same. So for example, in this case, I'm going to move settlers to uh, spaces which are purple. So if I do this, for example, uh, this module was off, but then a settler goes in, 
he goes back to my stock and it's on. And you may note that there was a symbol here. This means I'm going to get a robot and place it in the yellow room. So now I have extra workforce here in the yellow room. Very nice. And then when new settlers move in, they are placed right on the spots and you have to look for the capacity um, of your rooms because they have a limited capacity and this is also very important. So now they all work the same and uh, the thing is they allow you to move to a color uh, to a color that's chosen. Now the yellow here, the yellow space is going to have you, well to give you the possibility of um, putting new settlers onto your board. For every action point you have here, you're going to fill uh, an airlock room with settlers. So for example, this one has four spots. In the case of this one, I could only place three, for example. So this is very nice because I want settlers onto my board because I want to move them to, um, to uh, rooms which have uh, space gate symbols on them. So once these are activated, I'm going to be able to send settlers there. And you may note that we have three space gates and we have three different space gate symbols. So at the end of an action phase, we are going to check if the players have any uh, full rooms with space, uh, space gate symbols on them. And this means that they can send settlers, starting with the active player. So for example, if this room is full, it has the, this cross symbol, that means I can ship uh, settlers there and they are going to uh, be placed there. So every exoplanet has uh, different rules, different scoring and placement rules. So for example, Dirac here, I'm going to place those uh, settlers there and once I have placed five of them, I can put a, uh, a settler, my sixth settler there. And this is really important because these spots give me additional points. So once we do all of the planet, we can close the planet and that's when we score. And we have a scheme of scoring which is different for every planet. I'm, I just told you about the scoring of this one. But if you go in Collins, you need to basically uh, circle the volcanoes to uh, get the planet. If you go to Russell, you're going to uh, settle the different islands and you have different rules for the islands. Uh, so there are many different rules. I'm going to let you check that on the rule book and on the tiles. So what's important is sometimes when you colonize a specific space with an arrow like, like this, well, you're going to have a nice surprise because you're going to be able to move those tokens. And what are they? They are the supremacy tokens. And you're going to uh, basically swap two of them. They are endgame objectives and they are going to allow you to score points, additional points, if you have the majority of a certain number of things, the, certain, the, the majority of purple rooms or the majority of triads of different rooms. And basically, if you manipulate that, you can get some extra points. So when you close a planet, the gate moves and then uh, you're going to uh, be able to close all of the planets. And then when all the planets are closed, you're going to see who is the winner. And basically, the winner is the one who has spun the most around the wheel, who has the highest rank. So for example, there and there. You may note that there is a different symbol for the third and sixth um, grade here and it's basically because you have to take a, an engineer and place it there instead of a normal settler. So basically the highest player there wins. If there is a tie you look at who's the highest on the wheel and that's it. You know almost everything there is to know about Spacegate Odyssey. So this is both a placement game and a management game because you want to place your modules nicely to have airlocks and also new workforce and also um, space gates. And you also want to manage how you score on these majority tiles. So that's it. That was Spacegate Odyssey. Bye bye and see you on Ludovox.fr.